Hard right, everybody. So today we're doing something a little different. I hope to get it done today, but who knows? Maybe we won't. I got my dad with me because I needed some expert advice on this. And uh, when you're doing something like this, you need two opinions, three, four, maybe five. I don't know. We'll see how it goes because I've never done it. And I looked on YouTube and couldn't find anybody else that's done it. So what I'm doing, I have a enclosed trailer. It's a 16 foot. I don't know how wide. And I haul my side by side in it and my kayaks in it. But what I like to do is go camping in some of these excursions and it's hard to take a camper and a, um, a, a side by side and kayaks. I'll get it out in a minute. So what we're doing is we're gonna build a wall that's gonna hinge shut. Right here it's gonna hinge and then we're gonna have a storm door in it. And then that way we can take our side by side out. We can take that wall, shut it, boom, put our air conditioning in here and I'll have a place to sleep, heat in the winter time. I'll show you the wall, I'll show you the door that I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna take you through the steps, and maybe uh, you can learn from our mistakes if we make any, but chances are we will. All right, go with us and let's, uh, let's build this. All right, so here's the storm door that I'm gonna use for my project here. I wanted one with a solid bottom. For one reason, I'm gonna try to shorten this door a couple inches to make it fit in my trailer better. And the door that I'm using is a Larson, and it is a West Point. Uh, Home Depot had them for a, not Home Depot, I'm sorry about that, Lowe's. Lowe's has it for $126, and that's what I'm going to do, put it in there. Here's the back of the trailer, side of the trailer, and we're going to hinge it off of this wall. See how it goes. Also, when I took these boards out, I took that piece of plywood out, I marked it. That's the top piece, and this is the bottom piece. That way, when I put them back together to be easier, I can just use the same holes and put it back in the same place. <clears throat> I'm going to add a piece of steel reinforcement across here where my three hinges goes, because the wall is going to be kind of heavy. That way, I can attach them straight to steel. All right. That'll probably be the first thing we'll do. But I'm gonna take you through the steps as we go. All right, I'm gonna catch you up where we at. So I have added a piece of, I don't know how big it is, a piece I found up there in the scrap pile, actually six inches by a quarter. Quarter that, I believe it's six, and this is probably a four. And we put another six inches, one down there. And what that's gonna do is give me a place to anchor the hinges that's stout. So. I wanted to catch you up there before I put my plywood on it and you can't see it. And I actually welded that in on both sides and it is solid. I don't know, I keep seeing it holding. We'll, we'll find that hole. Hold right there, Nick. I think it, that's good. You got it? There. And it may already be running in. It's going to be dead on it. So we don't have no wires tension or anything. I don't, wait a minute. Alright, what we're doing here is we're cutting a piece of steel. It's a quarter inch steel, three sixteenths actually and put it across the bottom. This is 3 sixteenths by one and a half. Another thing I got had in my scrap steel pile. And we're gonna put a screw in it and that's gonna help give it strength on the bottom. I don't know if I can get to it or not. I don't have to, I ain't gonna be able to get to it. Unless we slide that whole thing forward. And the reason I'm turning my two befores this way instead of the traditional way is because I won't have enough room to put my side by side in it if I do it that way. All right, so we'll bit the bullet. I'll say that we, I actually cut two inches off of this door. Nervous that, it, that it's gonna work cause if it don't work, that's $126 is on sale, 150 something normally. So, we might cut two inches off of that, the door. And I just laid a line on it and cut it with a skill saw. Now, I'm going to show you 
or inside the trailer and show you where we at. And by the way, we have been rained out. Three, not rained out, we've moved everything inside three times today. Look at the mud puddle right here. And this dog we got, Penny, where are you at? She has just been rolling and rolling and rolling and running in that water. Oh, then getting inside the trailer, it's awesome. All right, I'll show you the inside. All right, so here's the wall. I'm scared the dog, it's gonna be like that. And of course the door's gonna go here. I'm gonna put panel and plywood on this side and that side of this. Now, then we're just gonna take it and open it up. Put it against the wall. And then that way, I can still get my side by side or kayaks or whatever else I'm gonna get in here. So, I think it's gonna work. I hope so. This is uh, not real bad. I think I've spent a little less than $200 on this so far. So if it works, it'll be awesome. The plywood, I don't know how much as it is cheap, but it, I'll probably have less than $250 in it out the door. Out the door. All right. Right here, nice. It's, nice. Yes, it is. Yeah, sure is. it's still a long ways to go, but that's going to be awesome. All right, day two of working on the wall, the hinged wall. So I'll just kind of catch you up because I'm not sure where I left off. My battery was dying, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I still got to put my latch in my door my door closer is what they call it the little shock and i got some pretty paneling plywood not plywood pretty paneling to cover here and on the other side and um i know paneling might go bad if it gets wet but you know what i can replace it it's like 18 dollars a sheet and that's just what we want to look it's like a barn wood type deal or something like that my wife picked it out all right, I'm gonna take you through and show you that, but uh, the wall, I'm gonna be able to hinge it shut. I do have a gap up top here, and I'm gonna stick a pool noodle in that, is my plan there when I get done. Okay, I've got my inside wall right here prepped for my paneling. But what I done before I released the hinges is I went in and put these thick fender washers underneath the bottom here to maintain my distance off the floor. That way when I swing my door back or my whole wall back, it won't scrub as bad. Now it's a heavy wall, so it is gonna scrub some, I know that. So what I've done is I've got one washer there and I've got four washers here. And these are pretty thick washers and what that's doing is right here on this wall it's going to keep me pretty tight against the wall on that hinge it's going to keep me pretty tight right there and the gap's going to be minimal and then i'm going to have a little bit bigger gap let's see if i can get down here to it on the bottom well my camera rolled i wasn't ready for that so be a bigger gap here on the bottom what that's going to do is going to give my wall a little teeter that way when i take put my hinges on it take those washers out maybe it'll be even and be easier to slide it on the floor if that makes sense so i've got it in my mind how i'm gonna do it but we'll see how it works out all right let's go get our paneling and put it on 
And I also want to add, you probably can't do this job right here if you don't have a John Boat sawhorse and two dogs laying in the shade underneath it. This is genuine shade tree stuff right here. So you got to have a John Boat sawhorse or you might as well not even try this project. <laughs> All I'm saying. This is the edge it's going to be seen more and this is the edge i cut so i'm going to flip it around and keep a factory edge on this side there we go yep i'm gonna screw that in gonna look good proud of it all right i'm not gonna bore you with all this i'm gonna screw it up a couple of the other side and put on the other my other board and put on the other side and by the way that john boat that you've seen out there that's a 1965 model john boat and if you want to see how to restore that or how i restored that uh there, there's i'm gonna put a card up here click that and go to it but be sure to come back to this video all right, thanks guys for watching and please subscribe i work hard at this and every time somebody subscribes it really makes a difference on my channel i swear it does and thank you for subscribing thanks guys all right let's finish building this done done that shameless plug something else i'm doing i put these flat braces on to give me a little bit more strength when i was trying to connect these boards because normally you would connect the boards this way and not flat so it's harder to get a good connection here like that so anyway once i've got the paneling on the other side that strengthens that it's gonna, you know so that tied it all in together even better so i'm gonna take these off the ones that's on the outside and then i'm gonna put my paneling over here and screw it and it's gonna be solid all right i'm gonna insulate my crack up here at the top and i'm gonna use these real expensive pool noodles I just cut it where I want it to be. I pull that high dollar price tag on one dollar. And I'm gonna slice it down the middle. Same thing for the other side. Select my ceiling, but we're getting ready to use that this weekend. I'm on a time crunch to get this done. And it's not going to be complete for this weekend, but it's going to be very little. Well, what I have is a hole saw. The hole saw is not quite big enough, or not quite, it's the same size as for a, a cornhole boards. I believe it's six inches might have to be a little bit bigger than that so i'm gonna drill this all the way through both sides and then i might file or jigsaw out to make it a little bigger let's do it to it
build a new wall <laughs> and drill a hole in it. That's the way you do it. This should be fairly easy. I'm so close. I mean, I'm so close. <laughs> All right. So I've been struggling here, doing it with a file, and it just wasn't easy. And it was working, but it was really slow. Then I remembered, hey, doofus, you got this sandpaper wheel. So I finished the outside with it. It was like, oh, one minute job. So here we are. I'm gonna open this up a little more on the inside with this. This, this is awesome. Look at there. Yay! All right, next I'm gonna put me a place for my power cord to go through. Now, I know that I have, it's three and a half inches off the ground. I got me a two before in here because I don't know where I'm gonna take measure. That's just me. And I'm gonna put me a hole about right there for my power cord to go through for power inside. All right. All right, I'm gonna hook my van up to the back of the unit. We'll see how cool it gets in here. All right, just gonna show you when we get to where we're going, this is what it all looks like packed up. Well, we took a cooler out right there. So this is what it looks like. Then we're gonna get in and open the wall and show you how it converts and how this little project turned out. Turned out real good. All right, everything I've done, the only thing I couldn't really figure out is how to latch the wall. So what I've done, I've, I screw this in right here. I screw it in the door every time and then latch it here. And when I get to where I'm going, I take it out. That cause when I open it, or close my wall, whatever you want to call it, it'll hit the wall if that's not clear. So I still ain't got that figured out, but hey, it works for now. Let's open it up and uh, let's show you how easy it is. So I've got these little kayak pull straps. It goes on the front of the kayak. I've got them on it. That way I can help the weight of the door just a little bit. This one come off, it's just on a little washer. All right. Got these latches on top and bottom. Instant camper. All right, guys. Just gonna show you how easy it is and how neat this little project turned out. Thanks for watching. Hey, please subscribe. It really helps more than you you'll ever know. I mean, each every time one of you subscribe, I notice it and it really makes a difference. And thank you for subscribe, subscribing. See ya. There's what it looks like when it's shut. It's neat. And we got our ramp on jack stands. That way it gives us a little porch area to sit on.